please, everybody, for High Tech Gloves. Give it up for Robbie Farr. Robbie, Dave from Eureka, present you in third place. Were you pacing yourself? Was that what you had? Were you waiting for them? What was your tale of the story? Uh, no patience there, mate. Yeah, we, I gave it everything I had, and, and them guys just done a better job. Uh, I felt pretty good early the first couple laps, and then I got, got to the lap cars, and just once I got bad air, I really, I was trying to be neat and tidy, and I just sort of let it sing, and, and then the last then the race, I just let it sing, and um, kept it up off the right rear a bit more, and, and it was better. So, you know, um, we put out, you know, put, there's some there's some bench punch cars out there tonight. We done a we done a pretty good job. We just weren't quite good enough for the first two. So, yeah, full credit to, to Bailey and Emmett James. They've done a, done a great job. They've had good seasons, and um, we're close. We're close. We're getting there. We're just chipping away at it. So. I find it interesting this year that you've raced here a lot over the years in preparation for the classic and other big events. You've only been here twice this year and you've podium both times. I think it's credit to you. You're on the money. I think yeah, it's more probably credit to the team. You know, you, you can't do you can't do it with a bad car and we've had good cars. So um, yeah, that's that's credit to Speedy and, and Neil. They do a great job and obviously Barry Walder and Felicity and, and High Tech and East Coast Pipeline. Everyone else. I've actually had a really funny year. I've enjoyed it. We've had some good nights and some bad nights, but um, more good ones and bad ones. One of the coolest things for mine was seeing you line up on the front row next to Max. Takes me back a lot of years. I know you probably hate me saying it, but that was a cool moment for me. Oh, that was a cool race. I really enjoyed that. Hey, that was that was that was cool. I kind of knew Max would probably stay on the bottom, and knew we had to commit to the top. And and then uh, Dylan jumped in there and, and um, really cut it amongst the pigeons there for a couple of laps. So it was a good fun heat. I actually really enjoyed tonight. You know, obviously we'd like to finish a couple further up, but overall good night. Good to see a good crowd, and um, they'll enjoy Warrnambool. Mate, well done. Anyone else you missed? Anyone else you'd like to thank? Yeah, you know, just just look sponsors, sponsors, and um, Eureka. You know they've, they've done a great job to to uh, sponsor this series for, for a long time. I know this series, the series, the SRA, what would be with, with what it is without them. So special thanks to them. You know, Victorian uh, sprint cars are very healthy at the moment. Big car counts, and um, that's a credit to to the sponsors of the series. Your mum's always happy anytime you come to Warrnambool too. She sits up there and. How's Robert going? All that sort of stuff. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, I think Mum's just happy when I come to Victoria because I get to see her. So, um, look, it's great, great to come down here, see family and friends, and uh, have a decent night. Thank you. Good job. Come on, everyone, make some noise for your third place. Get a Robbie Farr. <laughs> How about some noise? Put your hands together. This kid last night was at the Perth Motorplex winning in the Cricky Motorsports Hot Rod, and he comes out tonight, puts on a hell of a drive to finish second. How about it for James McFadden? <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. Are you ready for a sleep yet? Yeah, yeah it'll be good. Uh, now we're right. We're on the other side of tyre now, so it's all good. Uh, thankfully, opportunity for, you know, obviously Cricket Motorsport rang me up Wednesday, and uh, and to be able to do that, I feel a bit like cold trickle today. So um, it's pretty cool, and yeah, it's a hell of a race just then. Uh, run second sucks, but when you have a cool race like that, it's, it's fun. Uh, obviously, the yellows kind of didn't fall our way. It was good fun in traffic there, and, and Jamie's really fast in clean air, so... Uh, yeah, to, to be able to catch him like that is, is probably, he's really positive for our program. Uh, he's probably been the guy to beat here. And, um, yeah, just happy with the night, just come one spot short. I like how you say probably been the man to beat here this year. I think, fair comment. But you can also put him out there that he was lucky tonight, is that right? No, nah, you make your own luck, mate. Uh, it's, um, it's the way the sport rolls. Uh, yeah, we, we're, like I said, we're happy. Um, you know, you can race Jamie wheel to wheel and, and know we're... We're, uh, we're going to come out all right. Um, I wouldn't try and fight him, though, if he took me out. But <laughs> no, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's good fun. Um, just got to thank my guys. Obviously, you know, I haven't been here all week, so uh, Moth and Chook and uh, GT and everyone there that, that put the car on the track. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really good fun when the racetrack allows racing like that, and, and I hope the fans had a good time. We've been mindful of that as a club to try and shape a racetrack that you can produce some, some epic racing, and I think we've managed to do that through the back half of January and... And even again tonight. Yeah, it's um obviously it's a it's a tough thing being a, a track guy because you're never going to please everyone. So uh, yeah, tonight definitely nailed it. Um, still really really fast up the top, but it, it's kind of cool to reward you for getting your elbows up and having a double. So yeah, we we just had a really good time tonight and uh, looking forward to going to bed. It's a good thing because you're now the promoter of Daisy Springs out there at your go kart track, and I've never seen so much dusk. And as a fan, can you get that under control for me so I can actually see the racing or what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I've been in America and uh, that's how they track prep over there, so we're doing that. Um, yeah, I've got to get my act together there. I've got to get some farming equipment or something and uh, get, it, get it rolling pretty good. But yeah, just that's off to the speedway and uh, obviously Eureka and uh, the SRA for, for putting on a good series for locally. And um, 
it's getting tougher and tougher, you know, we, we got 60, 70 cars at Lofa show, so it's um, pretty cool for the sport. Let's map out the next couple of weeks. Uh, where are you at next weekend? Where are you at at Easter? Uh, we'll be in Sydney and then we'll do Easter down here, so um, that'll be good fun and then hopefully... Yeah, I haven't done Easter down here for a while, so I'm going to work on my hooky program, so I need to be down here. Hey, we're looking to put on a track like tonight, don't worry about Easter Sunday, but uh, looking forward to having you back for Easter, that's a cool deal for us as race fans. Yeah, I'm looking forward, like I said, I've, I haven't really done a lot, I think the last time I did the whole thing was in the 77 car with Morton, so uh, it'll be good fun, and uh, obviously local now, so it's, it's easy to go home to my bed. Oh, we nearly claimed you was a Victorian there, good job mate, well done tonight. Thanks very much. Come on everybody, James McFadden, your runner-up for tonight's Sprint Car Main event. How about for this guy? Tonight's A-Main win is number 13 on the season. Last year he captured 14 A-Main wins. He's one spot shy of that. Still with a bunch of racing left. In terms of the Ultimate Sprint Car Championship chase, he's two from two. There's only four rounds remaining of that. He's near on picture perfect here. He's fresh from a victory in World Series Sprint Cars competition. He's your Speed Week champ. He's your Classic champ. And he's tonight's feature race winner. Can I have some noise for the real deal, Jamie Veal? <laughs> Jamie, or Mr. Veal, I should call you now. It's been an epic season. Uh, you, you hear those stats? Do you even get a chance to reflect? Do you still got some unfinished business with the chase? 30,000 to win that. Easter's still coming. There's a lot of racing yet. Yeah, I just try and take it one race at a time while I can um, do World Series. Sorry, mate. Looks <laughs> might catch him later. But you're talking about the reflection. You haven't had a chance yet, but 13A main wins tonight. Yeah, well, as I said, the team's doing a great job, but, um, you know, it's been flat out, really. Like, we do World Series, and then we go to... Uh, you know, yeah, finish that straight back to USC. So we're just trying to, you know, take a one race at a time. Um, you know, it was a pretty cool race. Cracked tonight. Uh, the team at uh, Premier Speedway done a great job for a sort of a different format for a lot of guys here with no qualifying. And, um, yeah, that was fun to race it out there. Like, you know, I slipped back a fair bit. And then, you know, Blindy was there, Farah was there, and James snuck his nose. It was, it was a real cool racetrack, and I'm um, hoping Craig enjoyed it. It was wide, it was racy. Is there any time when you went to the bottom and you thought it's got to take rubber? I noticed there you tuck the wing back too, trying to find something extra on the bottom. You're the first one to move off the cushion. Uh, well, I see Blindy at the start there. He was pretty good down there. And, um, you know, just had to try it really. I didn't really have anything to lose um, once we slipped back to third. So, uh, you know, just not enough cars out there in the end, really. Those few that crashed out for the lap traffic to catch, you know, catch lap traffic and make it interesting. But um, sort of got lucky there at the end. A few yellows and clean air made it way easier. You knew that James was going to throw a couple of Hail Marys in there. At one restart, he went from fourth to second. And he had a couple of shots at you, but you were good enough at those restarts. Any nervous moments? Oh, yeah, he's, he's trying to work me up before we went out that he's going to throw a fair few at me, so um, I was waiting for him. He was trying, don't worry about that. Another amazing result, who would you like to thank? I just got to thank uh, Mum and Dad once again for you know, the great effort they put in. Um, all my team, Glenn, Paul, Juddy, um, everyone does a great job, and um, you know, I'm happy to be driving it. Well done. We'll look forward to seeing you back for the Easter Spring Car Trail. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, everybody. How about it be a feature race winner tonight? Jamie Veal.